Number 25, letter A. How much heat transfer occurs to the environment by an electrical power station that uses 1.25 times 10 to the 4 joules of heat transfer into the engine with an efficiency of 42%. So basically, whenever you see heat transfer occurs to the environment, and you're talking about an engine more or less, uh, you'll be that they're asking you to calculate that for Q sub C, the heat of the cold reservoir. This is the amount of heat that is transferred into the engine. That's in the heat of the hot reservoir. Okay, and the efficiency then is going to be 42%. That's EFF. All right. And uh, what are they even asking? All right, they're asking us to sorry calculate Q sub C. Uh, so what I need to know, it, what I basically need to figure out is a relationship between these three. And I realize that I know two of them here. So the efficiency, I'll just label it as E, is equal to the work output by the engine divided by the heat put into the engine, aka the hot reservoir. So I don't know W, all right? So I can't really uh, solve, and there's no Q sub C in here, right? So I have another equation, though, right? That this is basically then uh, the work uh, will equal then the hot reservoir minus then the cold reservoir. So the heat put into the engine minus then the heat uh, given to the environment. All right. So I'm after Q sub C. So how can I do the algebra here? Well, basically, all I need to do is just substitute now. I mean, it depends on how you look at this. But I can simply solve this for work. That would be E times then Q of the hot reservoir is equal to the work. And then simply take that result, plug it on in here for work. For work and I realize now we have efficiency multiplied by Q sub H will equal then Q sub H one second, Q sub H minus then Q sub C. And I got to solve this thing for Q sub C. So I'm going to bring that on over to the left. I'll add it. And I got to subtract this on over to the right. So that should be then equal to Q sub H minus then E times Q sub H. And voila, we can simply calculate now. So this is Q sub C. The Q sub H value was then 1.25 times 10 to the 14th minus then uh, 0. 0.42 because you need that efficiency in percent uh, multiplied by 1.25 times 10 to the 14th. And let's see what we get. 1.25 times 10 to the 14th minus then 0.42 times 1.25 times 10 to the 14th. And this is about 7.25 times 10 to the 13th. And that is in terms of joules. That's the amount of heat loss to the environment. All right. And that is how we do letter A. All right, let's take a look at now letter, letter B. So it says, what is the ratio of heat transfer to the environment to work output? Okay, um, so now we can basically uh, take this ratio. Uh, it depends on how you want to set it up, but when they say heat transfer to the environment, you know, heat uh, transfer to the environment to the work output, they're basically asking us for this ratio. Q sub C, because that's the heat transfer to the environment per work output per work, W, all right? Um, so now all we need to do is basically, again, I need to solve this ratio. I know Q sub C, I just solved for it, but I don't know the work, but I do know that, you know, the work is equal to this, right, as we solved before, uh, not solved before, excuse me, that we, we used that formula before. So I can now simply just take that and plug it on in for work. And now I know all the variables, right? There's a Q sub C divided then by Q sub H minus Q sub C. All right, and that's simply going to be 7.25 times 10 raised to the 13th divided then by uh, Q sub H, which is 1.25, 1.25 times 10, whoops, 1.25 times 10 raised to the 14th minus then 7.25 times 10 to the 13th. And let's see what we get. So we get that value divided by then 1.25 times 10 to the 14th minus that value of 7.25 times 10 to the 13th. And we get about a, a 1.38 to 1. Well, so 1.38, that's a 1. 1.38 to 1. So basically, uh, for every single joule all right, of, of, of useful work that is being output, 1.38 joules of work is, uh, excuse me, of heat is being transferred into the environment. Okay. And then, last but not least, letter C, how much work is done? So we can essentially now just use this formula, plug in Q sub H and subtract from that Q sub C. So your Q sub H value was 1.25 times 10 to the 14th, minus then your Q sub C value, which is 7.25 times 10 to the 13th. 
There's always other ways to do this too. That would basically be then the work here. This is part C. It would be equal to 5.25 times 10 raised to the 13th. Okay. And that is it. All right, guys. So thanks very much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Take care.